Welcome to Introduction to GeoLookup. My name is Marie and I'm with Sumo Learn. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Sumo's GeoLookup feature, which allows you to match IP addresses extracted from your log messages to their geographic locations. When you map GeoLookup data, you can see at a glance the geographical distribution of events of interest. This helps you detect problems and discover opportunities. This is the Visitor Locations dashboard from Sumo's Apache app. The two maps show the count of site visitors by location, worldwide and in the U.S. Each of the map markers contains a count of the event we're looking at. The color of a marker is indicative of the count. Each color corresponds to a range of values. There's information about that in our help. As you can see, the geo lookup data can be visualized using other chart types. The lower two panels contain column charts that show visits over time. As you look at the maps, perhaps you can imagine applications for this feature. In this case, mapping site visitors, that in itself could be useful for evaluating the results of a marketing campaign or determining geographic locations that would benefit from localized content. Or, if you're a SaaS provider, you might craft a more specific query that returns visits to a particular URL in your application so that you can compare the adoption of a newly introduced feature across geographies. And of course, geomapping is very useful for identifying geographical clusters of errors or threats. So how does it work? Underlying the GeoLookup capability is a database of location information for public IP addresses, including latitude, longitude, and other location information. To use GeoLookup, you create a query that parses IP addresses from your log files, looks up their locations, and aggregates the results using the count operator. Then you can visualize the data. So let's take a look at one of those queries. This is the query that underlies the US visitor locations map. So let's break it down. <clears throat> As usual, we start out by specifying a source category. Then our parse statements parse out IP addresses and also status code and size and some other interesting information. The heart of the query is the lookup statement. So let's break that down. It starts with lookup, which is followed by a list of the fields that you'd like to obtain from the geo database. Note that latitude and longitude are required. You need to return that information in order for the mapping to be done. Other location fields are optional. After the from, this is the URL of the um, geodatabase. Note that um, this is the only one you can use. You can't supply your own uh, geodatabase URL. And finally, following on, are the join columns for the matching, which is IP in the geodatabase and source underscore IP in my log messages. I've got a couple of where statements. One has, uh, the first one excludes any results where area code is zero, because I don't want to see those. And the next one limits the results to the United States. Finally, we need to count the results using the count operator. If you used a different aggregation operator, like sum or average, the results would not be mappable. Now, you can see the results at the bottom of the page, and you just click the map icon to map the results. So to achieve similar results with your own data, you need to parse IP addresses from your messages, do a lookup using IP address, and count the results. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about GeoLookup. I thank you very much for listening. For more information about the GeoLookup feature or other Sumo Logic features, go to our Learn tab and uh, there's an icon you can click to go to our docs site. <laughs>